Wow, I cannot believe we just ran into that. We had no idea that that was gonna happen. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our third full day. Today is the day that we explore Taipei. We've heard so many wonderful things about this city, so let's go. There are endless amount of temples in this city, which is awesome, but we can't see them all. But we are going to see a few of them, and we're actually going to start at the Longshan Temple. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And welcome to Longshan Temple. And there's a few reasons why I wanted to start here. And the first is because this area is the most historic area in Taipei. But this temple actually survived World War II. And it looks the way it does because locals and the people in this area still volunteer to keep up on it for free. is actually a temple that serves three different religions, Taoist, Buddhist, and Confucian. That was so incredible. I could literally spend the whole day there. But we're actually heading to Popalio Street, which is the oldest street in the city. So I just read that this block was one of the most prosperous areas of Taipei in the 1800s. Seriously, this is really cool. If you like history, modern Taipei, this is where it actually began. So as cool as that was, we have a lot of things we need to get done today. So the next place we're going to is Shi Mending. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's so much fun. There's shops, there's bars, there's restaurants. It is hopping on a Wednesday afternoon. What is everyone doing? <laughs> I can see why this area is such a big hit. It's almost like the Times Square of Taiwan. I imagine at that time this is just phenomenal. But we need to get going because we still have a lot to do and we are headed to the Presidential Plaza. It's such a good rainbow. It's like a double rainbow. <laughs> Which always makes me think of the YouTube video. I think there are 45 Espas over there. How many do you think? I'm gonna say 57. 57? Let's go see. She looks really excited. I'm sure she's close. 105. 105? 105. <laughs> we were off. so off. We so this is the presidential plaza. Palm trees and all. It's equivalent to the White House. But we're trying to figure out if Taiwan is still part of China. Some places do say on the internet that it's still part of China technically or it's its own country. So if you know for sure, let us know below because we're we can't figure it out and also we were told that we couldn't stand there in front and we had to keep moving so we couldn't actually really look at it even though it is cool and it is fun to I guess walk by i don't really know it's just the rainbow that just keeps on giving that might have been the coolest time lapse i've ever taken wow, wow. Remember when I said the rainbow is the gift that just keeps on giving because it followed us here and now there's a quad rainbow on top of a rainbow. <laughs> that made any sense. Everyone else is following them. Such 
a great thing to run into. Oh my goodness. And the sunset was right behind. Oh. I think Taipei is a little underrated. I don't think that enough people come here because really we haven't seen that many tourists. We're not, we might be on a little bit of an off season, but I was expecting to see a ton of tourists, especially at all of these locations that we went to today. It's time for you to explore Taipei too, because this is, this is so underrated. I love it. This is great. I'm not sure about you, but these tiles make me really dizzy looking at them because it's like an illusion. One of those books that you just like stare at and you're like looking for things. If you know, remember the name of what I'm talking about, comment below. And I know it's becoming night really quickly, but we have one more spot to go to. And I hope I timed this perfectly because I actually wanted to go there at nighttime because it looks way cooler at nighttime than it does during the day. Just wait for it. And last but not least, we have the Taipei 101, the most impressive building here in Taipei. And the reason I picked this for last is I think that it's more awesome. Yes, more awesome at nighttime. Although our budget doesn't allow us to go to the top of the Taipei 101 in the observatory deck, there's another way you can do it, but I didn't realize that you had to make a reservation in advance. So there is a Starbucks on the 35th floor, is the tallest Starbucks in the world. And you can make a reservation in advance to go up there and buy a drink, but it's a much easier and cheaper way of going into the building and getting a great view of Taipei. So at one point in time, this actually was the tallest building in the world. It didn't last very long, and if I remember correctly, it was only for a few months or something like that. Off to our last and final stop for the day, the Apple Store to get my computer. I'm so happy it's fixed. <laughs> it's been a really, really great day. We had an amazing time exploring Taipei. This is one of the most underrated cities in Asia. But we're actually gonna close out here. Thanks for hanging around with us. See you on the go. Unfortunately, our last full day. No, wait, no, it's not. Tomorrow we're going hiking. <sighs> as cool as that was, we we're off to the next thing, which is Shimending. 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 I hope. And the next place we're going to is Shimending. 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 No. Shimending. I got this. We are at the. What is it called? Shimending. We're at the Ximending. In this one shopping center. We're in the Xi, Ximending. Next spot, which is the Presidential Palace. Which is the, the Presidential Palace Plaza. This is the Presidential Palace. Plaza. So this is the Presidential Palace. Nope. <laughs> Plaza. <laughs> so this is the Presidential Plaza. Plaza.